Hello again everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age 2. We're here in Low Town. We've just been uh, had our experience with the Fade. Uh, we, sa we, we saved Fainreal, but unfortunately he has been made tranquil as a result of what happened. It was either that or he was going to be stuck with demons by the sounds of it. It's very upsetting, but... So? Always remember where you started, oh yeah, this is Gamblin's house. We're not? What about that time we painted each other's toenails? Do you want something? <laughs> Love, life and liberty. What more does a man need? You're in a jolly mood. Well, when you're here, I know you're not leading men into Darktown to arrest me. <laughs> what is inside Gamlin's house now, I wonder? Now that we're not it living in here. So you're moving up in the world? You've got some coin to share with your favorite uncle? No! So you're moving up in the world? What have you done to frickin' earn it? You ass. If if you were actually nice to me, maybe. But no. No, you weren't. You were very, very rude. Right, so we need to go and speak to Aveline in her headquarters. Have a very large mouth. And here I've always looked up to you. What is it now? There were fist fights in the barracks over who was the model for your guard cereal. Hard in high town. Riveting stuff. Everyone loves a dirty guard on the edge. Ah! Varric. Fine. I'll start his big finish. Three chapters until Donan Brenakovic retires and opens a tavern on the coast. I sure hope he makes it. He's getting too old for this shit. <laughs> wow. Donan, of course. So let's go to uh, the barracks and speak to Aveline. I'm sure she's got some uh, making up to do in a way. And after that, we'll go to the hangman and speak to Varric about the same thing. I forgive them. I just... I expected better of them. You know what I mean? Uh, I can't keep. I'm guessing it is there we have to speak to them. Not in our estate anymore, I hope. Is it? Yeah. Just speak to her in here. I'm with you. How much longer do I have to wait? Do I literally have to be in here? It's different here as Ah, here we go. Feels like family. There we go. This is Is it cold in here? I'm having trouble staying warm. Ever since the fade and that thing inside Fainreal. Feeling better? Any ill effects? It keeps drifting back. I can feel the want of it. It must have been strong to turn you. Strong's not the word. I can deal with strong. This was, I don't know. It took a memory I was at peace with and, well, if that's what mages contend with, I'm less opposed to the gallows. Oh. I don't disagree that the circle is necessary, within reason. Was there any reason behind what we encountered? There was thought, but it was so focused. Are we supposed to understand that? Are we built for that? I wasn't meant to know. Of that, I am certain. Let's hmm. not do that again anytime soon, Hawk. Promise? Promise. Nothing going on, Hawk. You'd be the first to know if there was. Right, so now we have to go to the hanged man, and then we'll. Um, Today is treating you well, Sarah. Thank you kindly. Day, Speak Sarah. to Varric about about his betrayal. Hanged man. I should have realised that the, 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 this was the thing hanging outside, because this always comes up when we go here. Right, Varric. Listen, Hawk. I'm so sorry about what happened, you know, back there. That whole time we were in the Fade, nothing felt real, which makes sense, considering. Anyway, I want you to know, I would never choose a demon over you while conscious and sober. No harm done. I've already forgiven you, Varric. Don't worry about it. 
Well, I plan on worrying about it just a little. I do not like the idea that some fate creature can manipulate me. Anyway, I'll stop babbling now. Thanks for hearing me out, Hawk. That's okay. Do you ever feel like you're part of a story that someone's <sighs> You were very close to losing your printing blocks, Barrick. Once more, I am falsely accused of whatever it is I am accused of. Falsely. <laughs> Someone swapped the text of my recruitment poster with some filth from the Blooming Rose. <laughs> Ooh, that does sound pretty good. Sure. Fill the barracks with whores. But you've also filled the rows with guards. It is true what they say. The best comedy comes from tragedy. <laughs> Christ. Aveline just, just falls out with everybody for reasons, don't, doesn't she? Oh, we have mail at the estate. Let's go back to the estate then. See what we can find there. Uh, uh. <laughs> as, as I stretch rather rather wildly. Good to see you again, sir. You and too. Excellente. I have noticed your considerable talents that have, op have an opportunity to have an opportunity that may be of interest to you. Meet me in High Town at, at midnight. Discretion is key. A new friend. The midnight meeting. This sounds awfully worrying. Oh, Theodas calendar. What, what's this? That dog. Well, maybe two marks add character to the piece. I mean, I suppose so. For most good folk, the details of our calendar have little purpose. It is useful only for telling them when, when the Summer Day Festival will be held, and when the snows are expected to begin, and when the harvest must be complete. The naming of the years are, are a matter for historians and taxmen, and few if pressed could even tell you the reason that our current age is named after dragons. It is 930 Dragon Age, and the, the 30th year of the 9th age since the crowning of the Trantry's first divine. Each age is exactly 100 years. With the next age's name chosen in the 99th year, the scholars in Valroyo advise the Chantry of portents see in that 99th year, and Tran Chantry authorities pour over the research for months before the Divine announces the name of the imminent age. The name is said to be an omen of what is to come, of what the people of Theodas will face for the next hundred years. The current age is not meant to be the Dragon Age. Uh, throughout the last months of the Blessed Age, the Chantry is preparing to declare the Sun Age, named for the symbol of the Old Legion Empire which at the time sprawled over much of the south of Theodas and controlled both for Ferelden and what is now Navarra. It was to be a celebration of Orlesian imperial glory. But as the rebellion in Ferelden reached ahead uh, and the Battle of uh, Riverdame was about to begin, a peculiar event occurred, a rampage, the rising of a, of, of a dreaded high dragon. Dragons had been thought practically extinct since the days of the, uh, since the, days of the Navarran dragon hunts, and they say that to see the great beast rise... Rise formed the Frostbax was both majestic and terrifying. As the rampage began and the High Dragon decimated the countryside in its search for food, the elderly Divine Falstein II abruptly declared the Dragon Age. Some say the Divine was declaring support for, for all in the battle against Ferelden, since the Dragon is an element of the Dufael family uh, heraldry of King Megrin, the so-called usurper king of Ferelden. Be that as it may, the High Dragon's rampage turned towards the Orlesian side of the Frostback Mountains, killing hundreds and sending thousands more fleeing to the northern coast. The Ferelden rebels won the Battle of the River Dane, ultimately securing their independence. Many thus think that the Dragon Age will come to represent the time of violent and dramatic change for all of Theodas. Um, it remains to be seen. Whew, that was a hell of a long text. I'm knackered. Um, so, we'll go back to Isabella, Anders, and Varric. The old trio. Right, so let's go to High Town at night then. Do this midnight meeting, whatever it's gonna, whatever this is gonna entail. It sounds very shady, like incredibly shady. But you know, it it might yield something good. I don't know. You came. This is suspicious. Who are you? You probably thought you'd got away with it. Sir Karas and the others' deaths. Do you even remember them? They were searching for the missing Stark. Oh, those guys! Oh, yes. An inquiry determined the apostates must have killed the Templars. But I've suspected for years that Sir Thras and you were responsible. Three years ago. Yeah. They struck first. I wouldn't let them take the apostates. Then Sir Karas ordered his men to attack. I knew it. 
You stood in the way of their holy duty, and you think that excuses your actions. My brothers, tonight justice will be done. You fool. Oh, she's resilient, isn't she? Better boost my attack for a second. Oh, there's more Templars than I, I, I initially realised. They're still coming out of the freaking shadows, Jesus. We got some we got some money and experience out of it. That wasn't quite what I was hoping for, but yeah. Three years ago that was. And it was whoa, the tiny cut 413 out of a thousand. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, is that good for her? No, not really. Okay. Huh, right. Well, that was fun. Yeah, again, it was completely the Templar's fault in this situation. You know. Right, so... Sunder Mount, no, we don't want to be there. Oh, actually, let's, let's go and check... Uh, yeah, let's go and check Sunderman because I want to have a look at the merchant in the Elven place, just see if there's anything we can buy, uh, special spe speciality wise. Because I, th I, I think we bought a, a Hala statue for Meryl last time we were here, didn't we? So there might be something new. I don't know. I didn't really have have a good look last time. I wish I could buy similar equipment for my companions, uh, you know, as to what I have. Because I have, like, way overpowered uh, equipment compared to the rest. Have I spoken to this guy before? Yes, I have. Marathari, anything else from you? Indeed. Do you have... Oh, we'll sell these things. Don't need them. Uh, yeah. No, she, she he doesn't sell anything uh, anything particularly useful. Yeah, let's walk back. What what quest should we head and do next? There's only really um the main stuff now, isn't there? Yeah, okay. We'll go and we'll go and do the main quest then, I suppose. Uh, what should, what should we do first? Uh, we will go to Emmerich and the Gallows. We'll focus on on that first. I I forgot what the actual context of this quest was. Actually, it was the it was the murders of all the of all the women, wasn't it? I think, if I remember rightly, it was like trying to find the the link between. All the, all the people dying in a certain, like, time frame, I think. So let's go to the gallows. Pretty sure th that was where this quest originated from, in Chapter 1, anyway. Okay, Emmerich. Hello, Emmerich. Aveline says you need my help again. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Merin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuy. Dupuy, that, that name rings a bell? Why do you need me? Is this yeah. man in hiding? Am I to find him for you? No, I know where Dupuy is. I just can't get to him. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. The guards raided his mansion. Ah, yes. Uh, Aveline told me about they this. Were forced to apologize, and I was reprimanded. 
Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. Okay. Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard, well, they rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. There's probably more to it than Women that. Women are dying out there, and no one's doing anything. I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and jewelry. Wow. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing women. I suppose so. I had no choice but to continue the investigation on my own. What have you learned about Gascard Dupuis? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. Oh, interesting. It cannot be a coincidence. Maybe you're right. It should be investigated at least. Thank you. I faced nothing but ridicule. To hear someone say that is encouraging. Hmm. I will. I will help if I can. What do you need yeah. me to do? I knew I could count on you. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. Okay. Break into Gascard Dupuis high time estate after dark to see if there's evidence that links him to the disappearances. Okay. To tell you what we're going to do here. We're going to go to the Viscount's Keep because I, I, I need a place to f f flock around with my party. I'm going to I'm gonna bring Aveline with me instead of uh, Isabella. Just for the pure reason that I think based on the kind of context of this, I think Aveline should be with me. Because it's a city guard matter. So, you know, having her along would be quite useful, I think. So yeah, let's, let's, let's go and break in. I'm sure Aveline will have no problem with that. She, she will surely understand the reason for me doing this. That must be the entrance there, I'm guessing. Yes, it is. So the objective is very simple. Find something one way or another. Find something connecting him to them, or find something that kind of shows that he's innocent. Either way, I'm sure we'll find something. Right, the Dupuis Estate. Let's go. There better be something in here. Again, a very similar mansion to the ones we've seen beforehand. Oh boy. Well, this is new. This is new and very considerably unexpected. Holy hell, alright, Anders is taking a bit of a beating over there, isn't he? Let's go and help him out. Traveling can, can can help herself. Getting flanked here as well. We done? That was just that surely wasn't the rage demon killed. There's no way. Now it was. I don't think the guards raiding the estate met that particular reception. No, weirdly, I don't think so. A thank you note, what's this? A thank you note, Gascar, thank you kindly for your last shipment. It arrived in almost perfect condition. The requested payment is on its way. Please use the artifact with care. The creatures can be difficult to control, even for an experienced mage. A pleasure doing business, your friend. What creatures are they talking about? The Must shade. be. It has to be. What's in here? That shipment must be the women. And then, she, he, it, so this guy is a mage, it looks like. 
Or maybe he's not, I don't know. Maybe that was just an example, I don't know. But either way, we will carry on in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Dragon Age 2. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.